Clinton out there now uh, ahead of it. And really the party's getting started. We've seen some DJs out there. It looks like a lot of people are making their way to Mass Ave. That's right, Sierra and Zach. We've been dancing out here since you last checked in with us. The DJ is now here, so the music is popping. We're having a great time here, and I want to introduce you to my friend Brian, who is helping make all of this happen. Brian, how are we doing? I'm doing very well. It's an exciting day. I'm full of energy, and I am just so glad uh, that we were able to put this on with such smoothness. Uh, it is just really just fantastic. Fantastic. Just a fantastic day for it. And you help with all of the volunteers. Yes. Tell me how many volunteers it takes to put this on and what the process is all like. It takes over 200 to 400 plus volunteers to put all this on among 26 events during the Pride season of the month of June. So today alone, we have probably 200 plus volunteers today to help put this event on alone today. Wow. And I, and I know the planning for this is something that happens for a year. It, it, every year, it just takes the whole year to plan it. Tell me what the planning process looks like. The planning process starts soon after the current season's uh, festival and parade ends. So we're already in planning mode already, and it ramps up in July. But the planning takes almost a good year out from the date to put everything together. And what are you most looking forward to here today? We've got the parade happening here soon in about an hour and a half, and then we've got the festival too. What I'm looking forward to the most is all the communities coming together in unison to celebrate today and bring queer joy uh, to this uh, city. So that's what I'm most looking forward to is the community engagement and the community impact and the positivity that comes with this. And finally for you, for people who aren't planning to come out here but maybe are interested, what would your advice be to get them out here? I would say if you're interested, the biggest way of engaging your interest is uh, volunteering. Uh, you can go on indypride.org uh, uh, backslash volunteer to sign up for volunteer slots. We're still looking for volunteers for this season and we'll start looking for volunteers for the next following season. So and if you want to be involved, just come on out and show your presence and help out in some way. Brian, thank you so much. We're going to continue dancing out here. And again, you can come out, volunteer, watch, or even be in the parade. We've spoken to a few people who are already in the parade, and the energy here is fantastic. I also got a little distracted because I saw cotton candy down there. So I think I'm going to go check that out before our next hit. But for now, reporting live here on Mass Ave, Hannah Fullman, Fox 59 News.